Hey everybody, I had someone ask me a pretty good question um, the other day in one of the comments and that was how do you transport your tiles? And uh, so I just thought I'd show how I do it. Um, this is how I um, keep my tiles for just plain storage and when I'm transporting them to a uh, art show. Um, so what I did was I went out and got a few of these uh, medium sized uh, rubber made style bins and um, I'm actually going to pick you up here for a second. Um, I've got two tiles uh, mounted on the plaques here on top. And uh, they just sit up there. And then I've still got a couple uh, inches of space here. So sometimes I'll throw like paperwork or, or anything like that on top. Um, but I like having the clear bins because then I can see what's in them. You know, when you have six or eight bins, it starts getting hard to keep track of what's in what. Um, but let me take these out and I'll show you exactly how I uh, stack these up for transport to keep them safe. And yeah, let's see. Basically, what I do is I'll take two of them and I'll put them back to back like this um, so that they don't. I, I never have any tiles touching another tile. So I put them in, in pairs back to back and then in between the pairs. Um, when I got the plaques, each plaque was in a plastic bag. So I kept the plastic bags, and I got some felt, which I just bought by the yard, and I've got various scraps from other projects and stuff. Um, but I'll just uh, put a piece of felt in there. It's folded in, it's cut to size and folded in half, and I'll put these in between. And the reason that I, I did them in the plastic is the felt has... Um, you know, fibers and stuff that come off. And I didn't want to have to like keep brushing off all the, the tiles and everything when I'm setting up at the show. So the plastic just keeps them a uh, little cleaner, but you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. Um, but then these, these pairs are in here standing up on their edge. So nothing is, uh, let me give you a shot inside here. So nothing is laying flat on top of another flat piece. Um, so if I were to bump the bottom of this as I'm setting it down, it's going to hit on the edge of the uh, the plaques and not the face of the plaque or the the face of the tile. And this works out really, really great. I've also um, in the very bottom cut to size to fit the bottom of this tub. Let's see if I can get you in there. There's a piece of that uh, rubberized shelf lining material. Um, which gives them a little traction so they're not sliding all over the place. And it also provides a little bit of padding um, for when I set them down. And that's what I do for the stuff that's mounted on the plaques, uh, which is pretty much how I, I sell all of my tiles now, um, because I really like the ability of the customer to just simply buy it and then hang it on the wall. They don't have to worry about mounting it to anything. Back before I started doing that, I was doing raw tiles. And for the plain tiles, I actually use, this is a uh, container from dishwashing um, packets, like you put in the dishwasher. And uh, these actually turned out to be the best containers I've ever found. Um, because the it, it's the perfect width uh, to fit the tiles in here. And I simply just stand them up on end and then there's a little piece of felt and then there's the next one and a little piece of felt and this has worked out really really great there's also a piece of felt on the bottom um, so none of them are, are touching the the bottom of the tub um, but this has worked out really really awesome it also gives me a great place to store them before I get around to mounting them because I'm not going to go through all the work of mounting each tile individually I do them in batches um, so that way I can drill all the holes at once, go back, glue all the tiles on, you know, that kind of thing. I like to do it as a, like an assembly line um, and do a whole bunch at once. So that's about it. This is a, you know, pretty short video, but I thought that was a great question and um, I thought it might help other people with uh, getting their stuff ready and, and getting it to a show and all that stuff. So raw tiles. Um, I use this little cascade thing and of course you could go out and get like a... Uh, you know, a much smaller version of one of these. Um, I actually have a wooden crate upstairs that I've got a bunch in that, uh, I think it was made for holding, uh, CDs. Um, but you know, anything that's, that's 
about the width of the tile would work. I just uh, I stand them up and put the felt in between them so that way they don't hit each other and chip and, and scratch and, and all that stuff. So there you go. Hope, hope that helps you guys. Uh, please like and subscribe to the videos. I've got some other stuff in line to, uh, to get up here soon, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so take care. Have fun creating and good luck.